Ulu. Mauna Ulu, or Growing Mountain, is a tall, sloping, shield-shaped hill formed by numerous eruptions along the rift between 1969 and 1974. Mauna Ulu is best seen by walking a few yards past the road beyond the parking lot to where the end of the road is covered in fresh lava flows. At Mauna Ulu, visitors can get an intimate look at both Pahoehoe and A'a lava flow types. Pahoehoe, the less viscous and generally hotter liquid flow, moves fluidly like a river or glacier, the surface folding and molding, like pouring taffy into a ropey structure. Pahoehoe forms generally flat, fairly smooth, hard surfaces. A'a, on the other hand, is much cooler and has exsolved most of its dissolved gases, so it is much more viscous, causing the upper surface to fracture into clinker-like boulders and fragments. Flowing a'a sounds like a moving pile of hot glass shards. When it cools, it leaves behind rubbly piles of sharp fragments. Fields of pahoehoe and a'a make a landscape that look as if Madame Kele has bulldozed her land into flat surfaces, but left these acres of boulders piled here and there. Hu'uhuluhulu, Hulu, or Shaggy Hill, is a 150-foot-tall cinder cone formed in pre-contact times between Mauna Ulu and Puahi Crater. There is a fascinating three-mile round-trip hike from the Mauna Ulu parking lot to the top of Pu'uhuluhulu that is marked by cairns. From the vantage point of Pu'uhuluhulu's summit, one can see Pu'u'o'o, the hill of the bird, about five miles away. From Pu'uhuluhulu are fine views of Mauna Loa, Kilauea, Mauna Kea, the coastline, and Pu'u'o'o. Pu'u'o'o is a spatter cone built by the fire fountains erupting along Kilauea's rift zone between 1983 and 1986. Since 1986, the center of the eruption has moved about two miles further down the rift to a vent called Kupayanaha, or mysterious in Hawaiian. The round-trip hike from Mauna Ulu parking lot to the Pu'uhuluhulu and return takes about an hour and a half to two hours. The hike to the summit of Mauna Ulu is a long, dry, and serious hike with some dangers and should only be undertaken by those in good physical condition and experienced at hiking cross-country across broken and hazardous ground.